Should you stay or should you go? People often get to a point in a relationship where they're clear it's not working. And the inevitable question comes up. Stay or go? Unfortunately, most people use divorce as a solution to a communication problem. It's inevitable in a relationship you'll get to the point where you're asking yourself that question. Why? Because all relationships go through seasons or stages. And you've got to get to a point where there's constant arguing, the relationship's not great, you don't have the skills to sort out those arguments in the communication. Because we think about communication in the wrong way. Communication is actually, can I allow love to flow back and forward in the relationship? Or am I blocking it? Am I creating what we would call the chest plate to protect myself and not really letting the other person's love in? See, it's a lot easier to love someone than to really let them love us. Because the fear is, what if they take the love away? I've let it in, now I'm fully committed and fully exposed. What happens if they take it away from me? I'm gonna get hurt. People don't wanna experience hurt, obviously, in a relationship. So the answer to that question is, you should stay and work on the relationship. Clearly, if there's domestic abuse or things like that, I'm not talking about those situations. But if you're talking about a normal relationship where there are communication problems, where you're both feeling unloved, unsatisfied, unheard in the relationship, unsupported, then at that point, the solution is not to leave this person. The solution is to dig in and gain the skills necessary. It always amazes me that people think in relationships that they should just happen. We should have the skills. Particularly guys, if you're listening to this, we clearly don't. Now, if you're liking this video and you've seen some of my others, make sure you subscribe down below on the channel uh, because we'll give you lots more great content like this that'll help your relationship move to a point where you truly can experience love again. So if you're going to stay, you have to work on the relationship itself. But how you do that is work on you in the relationship and with your partner. So firstly, we're going to get our blocks out of the way. We have to get our communication skills leveled up. And we then have to understand the differences between men and women inside a relationship. You know, men and women are very different because we are conditioned by our culture, by the things that we've experienced in life to view each other as being the same. We're not the same. We're completely different as men and women. We have different ways of processing emotions, different ways of hearing and experiencing communication because most communication, 93%, in fact, according to two studies done in the United States at two different universities in the 1950s around emotional communication, and they say that 93% is nonverbal communication. It's not the words we're using. It's how we communicate. And that's why two states of communication are really important, masculine and feminine. A woman can be in a masculine state or a feminine state. A man can be in a feminine state or masculine state. If you don't understand the difference between those two, that's the first point you want to start to begin because they completely affect communication in a relationship as to whether your partner feels loved or not. Now, I get many comments on social media going, well, we shouldn't have to rely on our partner to be happy. That's absolutely true. But the reality is our partner can make us feel happy or not happy, no matter how stable you are in yourself. If you're with someone who's not going well themselves, they can definitely make you feel unhappy in the relationship. And so, it's not our responsibility to make our partner feel happy, but if we love them, surely we want them to feel happy, right? And if we can learn skills that enhance that, it's certainly gonna benefit us and our relationship, our family and our children inside the relationship. This totally makes sense to you, I'm sure. So how we do that is we run relationship events to enable change to occur in people instantly, in three days. And when they come out, they're reacting differently, they're acting differently, and they're getting different results from themselves and from their partner. We run those events in the United States and across Australia. And so if you're interested in that, uh, there's some links down below and also on our website that we would encourage you 
uh, to go to to find out more about the events. And make sure, as I said earlier, if you haven't subscribed, make sure you're subscribed as well to get our updated videos because we really do want to assist you to find love in your relationships.